welcome to Polymer Clay TV. I am Elisa, and today's show is filled with inspiration. So I wanted to show you what I've been working on, and I've really, really been into making some different shrine jewelry, mostly pendants, because that's the thing I enjoy making the most. And these are the shrine cutters, and these are the ones that came in the June Create Along box. If you're not familiar with it, go to createalongbox.com and it's basically a box that comes each month with really awesome stuff that we put together and, and create for the box and there's always a theme and June's theme was shrines. So this came in the box, these graduated set of cutters, but we also have some others. This is the home set, it's two, two in each set. This is the Moroccan set. And this is the arch set. So there's four sets, and I was just playing around with them all. <laughs> and so these are some of the things I've been making, and I'm going to show you one technique um, after I kind of give you an idea of what I did. And uh, I love this technique. The technique is what I did here on this Hamsa, which is a really cool piece that came also in, the, in that shrine box, but we actually do have it on createalong.com separately. This is what the, the stencil looked like. And you can see right here is the Hamsa. And I'll show you this technique. This here it is in blue. Um, it's a really cool embossed look. And I'll show you how I got that in just a second. But let me just talk about what I, what I really like to do with these. You know, they're great to cut them out. But once you cut them out, you want to start layering and adding things to really give it some interest and some depth. And so on here I used our mini mandala silk screen. And then I also used, this is the... Um, flower um, festival stamp which was in our May create along box so there's always something different in these boxes which is really cool and um, you know we change it up so you get a nice variety so I actually took this stamp and stamped on here and then I highlighted it and then I used the Hamsa which was from that stencil and I added foil on there that's what this is this is these this is a gra uh, a gradiated foil and then I use this rings stencil on this piece and now you can see here on the back I left it so you can see I pieced it together when I'm done with this I'm gonna put one one silk screen piece across the back to finish it off and and do something with the edges but this is where this is where I went with that and I put a little heart here as well this one here was just basically cutting I, st I um, stenciled uh, a piece of this olive color and then I silk screened this and I cut the larger one out and then added the smaller one on top. That was or the piece that was left over on top rather. I did actually, I, this was done with the one big cutter and then the small one in the middle. And so that's that, it's just something plain. You can add anything to it you want. Um, this one again was, I thought, well, you know, it's great as a shrine, I love it as a shrine, but I started playing around uh, probably way back here <laughs> and just started turning the shrines upside down and and doing all kinds of different things with it when they now they're not even necessarily shrines so it's you're not stuck making shrines with these cutters you can the sky's the limit really as I always say the sky is the limit and and as you can see here I found so many different ways to use it and then I added what's called cup chain on here which also was in the, the June box um, and it gives it a little shimmer and it fun and so I just mixed up stencils and silk screens and stencils and I used some of our metal tools on here this one here again was the Hamsa stenciled and I cut it off this is the the large um, shrine right here but then I cut it off over here to give it a totally different shape let me turn this around so you can see it a little better you know and I really like the look of that and then this one here these are all the metal stamps that I did on the side. And then this was actually a stencil from our from the Geo box, which we did a few months ago. These are the lantern cutters. And this is the heart that's on the same stencil as the Hamsa that I used here. And then I used the another stencil and uh, then I used some foil on it. So as you can see, I just build up layers and layers and layers and you get such cool, interesting looks. And it's really just about playing and having fun with it. And I did the same thing here, silk screen, silk screen, stencil, metal stamps, some cup chain. I used our little diamond cutters here and our little heart mini cutter here. 
These are also silk screens. And I just used some graduated uh, round cutters to do this. Uh, let's see if you can see from the back. It's all pieced together like that. And I'm probably going to add a little um, antiquing to this one too because copper looks really good antiqued. And, you know, same here. This is a stencil. I mean, a silk screen stencil. These were, this one here has the metal stamps I used to get this kind of like, you know, almost a flame look. So, yeah, look at things that you have differently and think how you can use them in a unique way. That's what I like to do. So, that's pretty much what I've been doing with these cutters. Let me get these out of the way. And uh, I thought this morning I was up early and I said, wow, I would like to have, you know, my Hamsa kind of raised up and and really to create depth. So I said, okay, let's do that. And so what I did was, and let me just grab any piece of clay here for you just to see the, the process, um, is I used this rubber stamp, which is the Flower Festival, which actually we, we, we have some left in the shop. They were in one of the boxes, but we do have a few left if, in, at crea createalong.com you can find them. But so basically you want to condition your clay and get a, and get a, a flat sheet of, for this. And you can go as thin or thick as you want. I'll just leave it at this for now. And I'm going to put my Hamsa on. Let me get a sheet here of the white. You can see a little better. So I put my Hamsa on, like so. And then I want to give it a nice roll so that I know that, it, that the Mylar stencil has really adhered to the clay because you can get paint underneath there and you don't want that. So that's why you have to make it sure that it's really adhered and so this is where the fun comes in we're gonna add this embossing by actually stamping over the mylar stencil now as you can see there's not a lot of room there so you have to kind of figure out an idea where you want to go with it and you're gonna have to push directly on that little area where the stencil is and you, you know you want to apply some nice pressure normally I would roll over it with my rod but I don't want to move it and you know because it's just such a little area there and so you want to try and feel around make sure you're getting it and you know it's kind of hard to tell because you can't see what you're doing so just do it for a few and see and always you can always go back and fix it if not and then peel it up and look what happens there so at this point I don't take off my stencil then I want to come in and add my paint and you can obviously use any kind of paint you can use you can use powdered pigments you can use pan pastels, whatever it is that you want. And I'm just going to highlight, just in a circular motion, all my raised areas. And you don't take too much paint because, you know, you don't need it. Not when you're highlighting it. And so when I think I have it the way I want, then I'm going to peel back my stencil. Slowly and gently. And there I have it. It's raised above the clay. And so I've got this beautiful embossed look. And uh, then I've added the uh, gold paint on there. And it takes it to a whole other level, I think. And so here, I, let me see. It's hard to line it up, but <laughs> let me just kind of. And then you can take a cookie cutter or you can freehand cut it, whatever it is that you want to do. Ah, come on. Don't give me a hard time. And here you go there. Here's the Hamsa that uh, has now got ink on it, and uh, it's ready to go and be used for anything. So, um, I hope you have fun with this. It's it's a really easy technique, as you can see, and there's lots of things you can do with this with the silk screens and the stencils and the cutters and all, and just play around with it. And you and before you know it, you'll be making amazing things, and uh, you'll see how just how easy it is to do. So have fun and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me.